That is an acoustic guitar. That's a compressor. Today I'm going to talk about how to throw them in a pot and mix them together. So today I am talking about compression. I'm going to show you the five-step method that I use to set up compressors on everything. If you think that sounds kind of cool, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll put a link up here for the video where I run through this whole process. Okay, let's do this five steps in five. Boom. So this is from a song called Two Trips Around the Sun, done by an awesome artist called The Living, setting up the compressor. Step one, put the ratio all the way up, put the attack all the way fast, the release all the way fast, and we're gonna put the threshold so you're getting a good amount of compression, like five, six, seven dB, something like that. Step two, slow the attack down until you hear the edge of the sound, the attack of the sound, the way you want it. We've done this before, so here we go on acoustic guitar. Here, there, the transient's coming through better. So when it's too fast, see how it's kind of killing the transient. And then I ended up here. Great. So three, slow the release down. So I like it there. What's happening is the compressor is kind of recovering according to the tempo of the song. You get the hit, you get the transient you like, it's compressing, and then it's sort of falling back to close to zero before the next hit. And that creates a fuller, more sustained kind of a sound. It feels more upfront. So step four is reduce the ratio. That's more natural sounding. We don't need a lot of compression on this. We just need to smooth it out and make it sustain more. It sounds more upfront and bigger. Step five, reduce the threshold. So with the loudest parts, I'm getting about 3 dB of gain reduction. Like you don't need a ton of this to get it to work. So without it, Somebody asked me a great question last week and it's about makeup gain and here's what I would suggest. Adjust the makeup gain so that the compressed sound and the bypass sound are about the same and that way you can judge a little bit better if the compression is actually making an improvement. That's the procedure I went through together. Really smooth, natural, but polished, full up front present sound. I love that. If you take this approach, you might find that you're customizing what you're doing and getting a better result. If you got questions or comments, put them in now. I wanna cover stuff that's cool or interesting. Talk to you next time. Now I gotta get some work done. <laughs>